Hello, my name is Mark Evenson. I'm the PGA teaching professional at the Suburban Club in Baltimore, Maryland. I often get asked the holy grail of questions by my students, and that is, how do I get more distance? Well, obviously, distance varies according to the person's flexibility and strength level. However, there is certain things we can do to help us get more distance relative to what we may be used to hitting already. The first thing we have to understand is where does the distance come from? It's club head speed. How do we create more club head speed? A lot of people think, because they've maybe seen John Daly in the past, that if I take this golf club back really far, I'm going to generate more club head speed down at the bottom. It's actually the exact opposite. Yes, if we have more flexibility, we're going to be able to create more club head speed. But I want you to be able to generate the maximum amount of club head speed that you can create within the flexibility point you already have. So here's a drill to help you do that. I want you to take the golf club and turn it upside down. Go ahead and grip it near the head of the club. And I want you to set up as if you're ready to make a practice swing. Yes, we're swinging it upside down. So. The key here is that we swing the golf club and try to hear a high-pitched noise. Now, I don't know if you could hear that on film or not, but if you can, I want you to try to hear a higher pitch than the last practice swing you just made. So I'm gonna try and do that. Now, of course, I wanna make sure I finish in balance, right heel up and turn, thighs together. But if you keep making these practice swings, you're gonna start to develop a little bit more of a leverage point down here where the ball is. That's where we want the club head speed. It's not over our head. You're gonna to start to find that it doesn't take a long backswing for you to generate a lot of power right here. Now, I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail as to what is causing that, but for now, I want you to just do the drill. The more you do the drill, the more you're gonna to start to feel like you can generate more whip into your club down here where the ball is located. If you have any further questions regarding this drill or any other drill, please don't hesitate to give me a call or you can reach me on my website at markevensonpga.com.